Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Hey, today we're going to be making pickled watermelon rinds. Yes, pickled watermelon rinds. Yes, so if you all like to pickle different um, fruits and vegetables, this is the sh channel for you, okay, today. So, these are my rinds. I have already eaten my watermelon, so I kept my rinds. So I want to show you all what I would do um, when I want to have some watermelon rinds, okay? Other pickled foods. But first, before we get to that, I want to um, name some of the pickled foods that you can pickle, you know. Some of them can be kept for so long, but these are only can be kept in the refrigerator for only three to four weeks, okay? So let me um, name some of the pickled foods that you can make okay first off is dill pickles peaches beets bread and butter pickles jalapeno peppers asparagus slaw okra eggs green beans blueberries onions carrots corn on the cob mushrooms peas apples and hot peppers and there are more foods okay okay now we have eaten the watermelon and kept the rinds okay and washed them you're going to need to cut the rind off okay cut that green part off as you can see i started already cutting mine off so you're gonna need to cut all that greenery off there okay to all of them and then we're going to go to the next step. Okay, I've been cutting my rinds up and putting putting them in my mason jars here. I have filled one up already. As you all can see. And I'm, I have three mason jars over here. But I'm going to try to fill the other one up. I probably won't get to three, but to two at least. Okay, but when I cut my rind off. I use this and my knife so whatever is more proficient for you okay but you're just gonna cut them up in small pieces okay we're pickling watermelon pickling watermelon yes and they are so good you all like I said you can uh, pickle other foods that you like. I like pickled okra, peas, beans, beets. Yes. You don't want to chop them up too big, but just enough. Okay? Just those sizes there. That small. I don't think I'm going to have enough for the third jar, but it's okay. At least we have two. And like I said, um, when you let this, this this is um, going to have to sit up for four days. And then you can take them out because all the mixture and all that can um, would have been set up. And you can taste all the flavor. Okay. And I'm going to come back to you with that. But we're just chopping these up and putting them in our mason jars. And whatever jar you have is your preference, okay? Now that we have, I've shown you that, we're going to come back and I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, guys, we're back. I just want to show you what we have in our mason jars. We have everything in there, okay? I only could get two. Which is good, which is good, which is good. So now we are needing a saucepan. And these are your ingredients, okay? Your ingredients will be one and a half cup of water. And this is spring water. I'm using spring water, not tap water, okay? That's one and a half cup of water. Then we're going to be needing apple cider vinegar. You on, you're going to be needing the same measurements. One and a half cup of apple cider vinegar. You can use white. 
vinegar also, but I'm using apple cider vinegar. And next we'll be needing one and a half cup of granulated sugar. Okay, that's one and a half granulated sugar. I have my owl on seven. So what we need to do first is make sure the sugar is dissolved. Make sure it's dissolved before we put the other three ingredients in here. We only have three more ingredients to put in here. To make our pickled watermelon rinds. Yes. So just pay attention. And if you go step by step like I'm doing, it'll come out right. Okay? Like I said, I have a glass top stove and I have it on seven. So you want to let the sugar dissolve and come to a boil, okay? Before you add the other three ingredients. Yes, and just stir and just watch it. Yes, that's very important. You don't want to burn. If you see where you're... Stove top is getting too high, heated too high, turn it down. Okay? But we have it on seven right now. And you just want that to come to a boil. Okay? Okay, you see the um, steam in it? It has, it's trying to come to a boil and come into a boil, and now it's that the sugar has came to the, its, its uh, consistency, we need to be adding one half, I'm sorry, a half teaspoon of red pepper flakes. These are the red pepper flakes. And keep in mind, this is going to be like a sweet and sour. So we're going to put those red pepper, oh shoot, <laughs> red pepper flakes in there. They got in there and stir every ingredient you get every ingredient that you get stir okay I turn my aisle up to eight to get that bowl and those were red pepper flakes a half a teaspoon of those now we're going to be adding one teaspoon of black peppercorn I'm gonna put that in there and this is going to be like a sweet heat stir we have our water our apple cider vinegar sugar red pepper flakes black peppercorn and now we're going to be putting in our last ingredient which is three tablespoons of kosher salt okay three tablespoons and i'm using this kosher salt right here by morton's but they have many different name brands for kosher salt so you can use whatever as long as it's kosher salt okay and that was three tablespoons of that and we're just going to stir Okay, stir and stir. And let that come to a simmer. And we're going to pour this in our mason jars, but we want this to simmer and cool, okay? Want it to simmer and cool. And if this is, this mixture is um, too hot, you can also, if you can't wait, if you're impatient, you can put a little cute, um, a couple of ice cubes in there. But I'm gonna let mine um, cool down some, and then pour it in your mason jar. Do not pour this mixture in your mason jar while it's hot. Okay? Do not. That's the key thing. Do not. 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 Okay. And just let it simmer. So 
so we'll get all those good ingredients incorporated in that liquid and I'll be back to show you the next ingredient okay guys okay now that the mixture has cooled down it's still warm but it's not hot and when it was heated like I told you all I mentioned to you all earlier I was like if you're impatient and you could can't wait put a couple ice cubes in there so I took it off the aisle and set it over there so you only should let it simmer for one minute but it's still boiling hot remember but only simmer it because you don't want to um, cook all the ingredients out okay you just want to simmer it for a little bit and put it over there so only one minute okay all right i don't think i mentioned that but after i got off the camera with y'all um i took it off but only one minute to simmer okay okay this is the mixture y'all that's the mixture and you see the peppercorns and the red peppers and we have sugar we have the kosher salt yeah and we have our water and apple cider vinegar with the sugar. Okay. Now, we're going to um, transfer this into another container. Because we're getting ready to put the mixture in these at, um, mason jars. Okay. So, going to. And yes, my aisle is it's not that high. I can put this on there. Okay. <laughs> So I'm just going to pour all that mixture in there. Yes. And if your peppercorns are left in there, yeah, just shake them on out or get you a bowl or a spoon or your finger and just, you know, you wash your hands <laughs> and just put them in there because that is the glory to the recipe one of the glories I, I should say one of the glories okay we're gonna stir it up a little bit and make sure you get the right um capacity of your dish and this is how it's looking see all that goodness wouldn't it smell so good you all but you know um it's one of the ingredients what i smell is one of the ingredients that i put in was apple cider vinegar um like i mentioned before you can use apple cider vinegar or white vinegar, but I use apple cider vinegar, okay? I'm going to show you the next step, putting them in the jars. Okay, y'all, as y'all can see, I have transferred the mixture in a bowl so I can pour at my convenience, okay? As you can see, one cup was enough of that, okay? You don't want to put it all the way to the top, okay? I think you don't want to do it. You want to leave it about right here. It's not all the way filled up to the top of the lid, okay? So, let's do the next one. One cup. That's just one cup. Okay. Pour just a little bit. Not up to the rim, but. Okay, now. You all can see what I did. I hopefully, hopefully, you see that. Okay. See how they look? Okay, you see some of the peppercorns in there? Well, now. If you see where you want more peppercorn, you can also drain this mixture. You can drain it, okay? And put the peppercorns on top of that because this is a sweet and hot, okay? Pickled watermelon, watermelon <laughs> grinds. Oh my, this is a sweet heat watermelon rind okay mixture okay 
that's what that is. So, if you want to do that, where well, you see me didn't have any peppercorns, you, like I said, you can strain them and then put the peppercorns on that. But everything is simmered, so all we need to do is just put our lids on there. Put your lids on there. And just put your other lids on there. This is it, you all. This is it. I want to wipe some of the excess off or whatever, you know. But our next step is to you can shake them up or whatever, turn them down because the next step is to put them in the fridge, the refrigerator. Okay. When you put them in the fridge, um, I would turn it over so all the goodness from the bottom can go to the top and when you open it, okay? Now, you're going to put these in the refrigerator for one to two, one to two, one to four days, okay? Because so they can get sweet overnight. These are pickled, okay? Pickled watermelon. And they can soak up the liquid very fast, okay? So you look at the vegetable or the fruit or you know how long it does really take for it just the flavor to sit in. But I will wait for four days. Okay. And turn them upside down. Like I said, you can shake them if you want. And put the peppercorn in there if you want more. But yeah, I'll see you all um, in four days. <laughs> These are going to be in my fridge for four days. I thank you all for watching. It's Blizzard Wellness. And I hope you all will try these sweet and spicy pickled watermelon rinds. Hey. Hey guys. And welcome back to It's Blizzard Wellness. Yes, the last time I saw you all. I was making um, sweet heat watermelon rinds. Yeah, that's right. And they are ready. They are ready. Remember I told you to keep them in the fridge for four days so your watermelon rinds can get saturated? Yes. They, they were so delicious. And how do I know? Because I made two mason jars but as you can see one is gone <laughs> and they were so good you all they were so good yes delicious yes when you pick up these watermelons um as i stated earlier you can use red vinegar or white vinegar okay and the recipe will be down below but when I stored them in the refrigerator, I sat them down like this, upside down, so the top can get very saturated, okay? So now we're going to open them. We're going to open them. But first, some people don't know what type of um, vegetables they can uh, pickle, but I'm going to read some more um, off of my list. What you can pickle, you can pickle dill pickles, peaches, beets, bread and butter pickles, jalapeno peppers, asparagus, slaw, okra, eggs, green beans, blueberries, onions, carrots, corn on the cob, you can pickle, mushroom, peas, apples, hot peppers, and there are plenty more. You could just look them up and get the recipe. But since it's summertime, I wanted to pickle watermelon since it's summer and while they're in still in season so i'm going to open this jar and i want you all to get a taste with me mm, it's so good you all yes 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 get me a spoon mm. Mm -mm -mm. The longer it sits, to me, this is just my preference, my opinion, the vinegar will settle down. Because at first it was like too tangy, too vinegary. But if you are a vinegar person and you like vinegar, you baby stand it. 
But just look at it. Look at it. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I do have... Some more juice left over. And I have the other juice um, in the refrigerator. So, if you have watermelon rinds, don't throw them away. Cut them like I showed you in the video. And use the recipe. And you'll love it. Okay? But... I can say this is my first pickling a fruit, nor have I pickled vegetables before. But I saw this recipe online and I said I would try it. And it is so delicious. And you can taste all the flavors. You can taste the watermelon, the um, peppercorn, the sugar, the vinegar. You all, this is so good. So, I will advise you all to try it. I thank you all for tuning in to its visual wellness. You can eat this as a snack. Midnight snack. You can eat it for lunch. You can eat it for breakfast. But I will advise you all to try sweet heat. And yes, it does have a little heat to it. Because of the peppercorn and the vinegar invigorates the peppercorn. So I call this mine Sweet Heat Pickled Watermelon Rind. So I advise you all to share, like, and send me a comment on the Sweet Heat Watermelon Rinds.